welcome back to another random adventure at the renaissance fair. In the previous video, I ended things by going to the food area, but I didn't really show any of the food options. So that's what we'll do in this video. Now I'm not sure how interesting watching random people eat food is, so I'm hoping this would be a short video. So let's get to it. One thing I want to say right up front is that yes, they did have ye olde turkey leg available. I did have one last year, but I decided not to have one this year for a few reasons. For one thing, it's a calorie bomb. It took a long time to eat the whole leg and it took up a lot of my time during the day. And it was very messy and it took two hands just to eat it. And since I was filming this year, those last two reasons really steered me away from getting another turkey leg this year. Now as you look into the distance, you'll see there's quite a few options. I'm not sure how medieval pizza is, but it was there. So on the far left, we have the turkey leg option and then some cinnamon roll option. And then next to that we have burritos, which again, I'm not sure how accurate that is for renaissance or medieval time, but at least it was an option. Next to the burritos, we have scotch eggs, which were quite tasty. The toad in a hole was a mixture of sausage, breasts of chicken, and frozen cheesecake. Next we have root beers with mocha floats next to gyros, which again, I don't know how renaissance and medieval accurate that is, but I'm not complaining. Next to the turkey leg options, there was the pulled pork, which is something I would pick up later on in the day. Next we have tri-tip sandwiches, which is something that I also tried. The pulled pork booth also had bangers and brats, which if you think about jolly old England, that seems to make sense. For my first food purchase of the day, I decided I would try the tri-tip sandwich. I'll spare you from having to watch me eat, but I will say that it tasted better than it looked. I did enjoy the tri-tip sandwich, and I don't remember exactly what I paid, but I wish I got a little bit more. It's rather simple, but at least it was tasty. After finishing our food, the rain really started to come down, so we decided to seek shelter and get some mead. The fun thing about buying meat at this booth was that if you tip them, they would hit a symbol and shut up. <laughs> My friends and I decided to wait out the rain with our mead. Despite the downpour, it was a good time to just sit and relax and have a drink with some friends. I would say the food at the Renaissance Fair is like any other food you get at a carnival or any other fair. It's a little pricey for what you get, but it is tasty. Just make sure to do a lot of walking to burn off those extra calories. That will do it for this video. And so until the next random adventure at the Renaissance Fair, take care.